Hey there, ladies and jelly spoons. Joe here again. So tomorrow will be the three week mark from when I've had my reconstructive knee surgery and uh, things are starting to get a little bit better and that's very, very encouraging for me. So let me tell you what I've been getting into. Okay, so starting out, uh, when I had my accident, um, I just, I had a dislocation. That was the main cause of what I've been going through. Um, we did the MRIs and we're starting to do physical therapy and things weren't healing right. I wasn't progressing correctly. Um, things just didn't feel right to me. So I contacted the doctor and they decided to go ahead and do surgery. Um, the surgery that we did was for the MPFL, the medial patellofemoral ligament. Um, while I was recovering from surgery, you know, just out of the surgical room and everything, uh, the doctor contacted my wife and let her know that he was glad that he had done the surgery because uh, it was a lot worse when he got in there than he thought it was initially. Uh, and apparently that ligament was hanging on just by a few threads. So what they basically had to do was use um, a, a donated ligament and graft it into uh, between my kneecap and my um, my thigh bone uh, and use screws that were made out of uh, bone from cadaver to attach that ligament to my patella and um, my femur. So the recoup time on this is supposed to be something like six months. Uh, I'm 40 years old, even at my age, I'm still considered to be, you know, relatively young and everything. So hopefully it won't be quite that long. Um, but now at least we're on the, the road to recovery. Uh, that all being said, I'm probably not going to be able to do any kind of like major build videos or anything. Um, I just can't do any lifting and Walking, as you saw at the intro, uh, is, is kind of a struggle. Um, I mean, I have to sit down to take a shower, so it's, uh, it's, it's pretty uncomfortable and everything right now. And I'm in, you know, pretty significant pain, actually. I, I didn't think that the pain was going to be as bad initially, especially. I did not anticipate the amount of pain that this was going to cause. Um, but I know it's all going to to be for, you know, the greater good that I'm going to be able to walk better than, you know, I had been for the last several years, but definitely over the last several months, uh, you know, be able to play with my kids again and maybe even get out and do some running and stuff like that. So uh, that's going to help tremendously uh, with my physical well-being, but uh, something that a lot of people don't tell you or, you know, it's just not widely discussed is that uh, you know, having surgery like that and having to rely on people, especially me, um, especially the type of man that I am, I like to be very independent. I like to be a caregiver. I like to take care of my family uh, to the fullest extent. And having the surgery has really put me in a place uh, emotionally and mentally that I wasn't really prepared for to have to depend on my wife and even my children. Uh, to help me do, you know, the most basic of things. Uh, it's pretty uh, humbling, actually. I would say is a good word. Um, I just wasn't fully prepared for that. And so that's been good for our family dynamic. Um, as I've learned to kind of, you know, realize that it's okay to depend on other people for help, that's, that's actually helped, uh, you know, our relationship. So I'm... I'm proud of my family for being there and, and being willing and being able to help me. And you know, I'm very thankful for that. Um, so if this is something that you're going to experience, uh, just be prepared for that. You're going to need some help and there's no way around it. There's just some things that you aren't going to be able to do for yourself, at least for the first several weeks. Um, now, as far as my channel progression, uh, I do have some unboxing videos. Um, my birthday just past and Easter was just a couple months ago. Uh, so, you know, I had some, some gifts from the family that I have been saving back that I was waiting uh, to use uh, for unboxing for this channel uh, and also for some big projects that I have coming up. 
Um, so I'm going to uh, to be doing those and rather than just doing like a basic unboxing like hey this is what you get and everything I'm going to go into the review process of why I made the decision to buy these particular products versus their counterparts and uh, you know sometimes it's going to be based on uh, the, the financial aspect of it but a lot of times I try to find a good product at a good price not necessarily just go for the cheapest product that'll get the job done um, I like good tools and I think a lot of other people probably feel the same way I want the best product for the best price but um, you know a lot of people like to just you know you know buy disposable tools um, and you know they have one or two projects they just need that tool for and then that's it and when I buy a tool I like to buy something that I know is going to last for a while and I have the potential to pass on to my children uh, when I no longer need them or can use them again uh, so you know hopefully that longevity aspect will play a significant role in, in people you know purchasing of, of tools and, and equipment and everything uh, so I'm looking forward to doing that I also have a couple of small builds that I'm going to be doing for my children uh, I'm going to be sharing that and then I have a very large, um, or at least large for me, project that I'm going to be doing for my shop, uh, getting the miter saw station put together and integrating um, aspects of several different builders that I've seen. Um, I don't, I'm having a real hard time finding one particular style of miter saw station that I feel like really fits my needs. So I'm going to be using aspects from at least three um, other YouTube builders that I really think that are going to get me close. And then I'm going to make a few alterations as well uh, just to bring everything as close to I can uh, imagine it anyway to what I want and what I'm looking for in that uh, particular piece of furniture for my shop. And I've also gone through uh, prior to the surgery and kind of cleared out a bunch of stuff that I was saving that I was going to be using for projects, some things I donated, some tools and stuff I gave away to other people uh, that I know that are getting into the crafts, um, and some things I just had to scrap, and, and I hated to do that, but uh, my workshop is supposed to be a work area, not a storage area, and I had a little bit of a problem, honestly, uh, with confusing those two. So that's all been taken care of, and now it's time, while I'm in this healing process, for me to go through a lot of planning and really putting together a direction where I want to go with my woodworking, uh, how I want to spend my shop time, and how I want to get my children involved uh, with that, um, using, using crafts and things to teach them, uh, you know, to, to get into mathematics and fractions and and understanding measurements and how those things work together and then also teaching them how to use tools to take something that they imagine they put it on paper to design it and then create something tangible that they can hold in their hands gives to somebody else uh, i think that's very important for a child's development to understand that their imagination can be tied to the real world and hopefully really uh push that creativity that drive to design and be creative in our in our young people so those are all things that I'm sitting here, you know, while I'm uh, healing and, and going through this process, my mind is going, you know, 90 different directions at 110 miles an hour. And so I'm trying to put all of that into a little bit more focused area and, and really try and hone in on what it is that I want out of this. Um, so I just wanted to do a quick update let everyone know I was doing okay and I appreciate all of your comments everybody's been sending me emails and text messages and uh, you know messages on my Facebook and everything I just want to say thank you thank you to everyone that has checked in on me that has uh, you know taken that time I know everyone's busy right now and there's there's a lot going on in the world and it's a it's a really hectic place but for someone to take a couple of minutes just to say hey you know joke you okay uh, it really means a lot so I really really appreciate all of you uh, all my subscribers, everyone following me on, on social media, uh, my friends, my family, I just want to say thank you. Thank you to everyone. Until next time, you all take care, and we'll catch you later. See ya.